Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Tales of Tenorio video. Since Tales of Tenorio's release date is coming out quickly, I decided to go into their Discord and find the top 10 best concept design Tenarians. At number 10, we have Selux from Lily Ray. I really like both the fairy form and the full moon form. As you can see in the fairy form Selux, it actually has a full circle, while the full moon form has a moon crest which is actually pretty clever from the person who designed this. I'm sure the fairy form you will find at daytime, while the full moon form aka the dark one is at nighttime, which I think is pretty obvious at this point. I like the design of both of them honestly, and it seems like this Tenarian can actually be in the game because how good it looks honestly. At number 9 we have Dracozite from Generic Silencer. I really like the colors in this concept Tenarian because of the gradient from like the pinkish purple to a more teal color makes it stand out more in my personal opinion. By the looks of it so far, I think it's going to be a very tanky looking dragon because it's actually quite big if you see the body and how it is at the moment. I know that dragon types are very very popular in Pokemon games and I'm sure Dracozite will be a very popular choice for people that want a dragon type on their team. This is probably one of the few dragon types that look pretty good and creative as well because honestly I wouldn't expect this to be a dragon type like it has more legs as you can see and I thought it would be like a bug dragon but if it's just dragon it's pretty good still. At number 8 we have Petaljin from Cherished Berries. From the image, I'm pretty sure this Tenarian was actually inspired by like a hedgehog because as you can see, like it has multiple features that resemble it. And overall, I like the pink color to this because it adds cuteness to it and the eyes are small, but that also makes it even cuter in my personal opinion. I know it doesn't look like a powerful like Tenarian, but I really have a soft spot for like these cute looking Tenarians and how they look. At number 7, we have Blossomite from Cliomne. I really like the pastel colors that the artist used for this Tenarian. The pose and how it looks with the eye it just makes it look like it's a very serious type of Tenarian that can actually battle and be really, really strong. I feel like you shouldn't underestimate this concept Tenarian because if it does get into the game, I'm sure this is going to be a really cool Tenarian that everyone like really wants on their team. At number 6, we have Steloth from Akushi. Honestly, I'm not a fan of bug type Tenarians because personally, I think bugs are just weak in general. But this bug type looks absolutely amazing. It's also light type as well, which might actually make it even better than just a regular bug Tenarian. I just like how they combine the regular moth with other things to make it even cooler. Because as you can see, it has like a tail of some sort that's holding a lamp with a star in it. I believe that its light type moves will probably come from that star on the tail because that's like the only resemblance to light on this Tenarian. I'm hoping soon we can get this into the game because I really want this bug type Tenarian in the beginning because it looks absolutely cool compared to a lot of bug types that other monster catching games have. At number 5, we have Wiz Ink from Mortome. This Tenarian looks actually really cool. It looks like it comes from like some distant planet since it is a psychic cosmic type as well so I'm assuming it has something related to space and the details and design really fit the psychic cosmic type because I know its eyes are not very humanoid it looks like something an alien would have but honestly I'm gonna be extremely happy if this actually gets to the game. At number four we have Amoconda from Seviar. I really like the concept of an anaconda having a gun as its tail because honestly that's pretty pretty cool. Even though the colors might be a bit basic and dull the whole concept really makes up for it. If you're a big fan of army stuff and all that I'm sure Amoconda would be the Tenarium for you if it gets put into the game. At number three we have Cupagon from Azure 1402. Even though the drawing isn't rendered and doesn't have all the details yet, it looks absolutely incredible. Taking both the dragon type and fairy type and putting them together to make Cupagon is actually really, really creative. I feel like there should be more Tenarians that have two types that are complete opposite and just combine them together because I'm sure we can see some really cool Tenarians if that were to happen. Now, for second and first, it has to be Electhereal, and number one should be Arcub. And the person who designed it is me, of course. Look at the amount of details for Electhereal and Arcub. Like, wow, look how amazing this is. All the shading and the colors matching with everything, with the cloud tail for Electhereal, and also Electhereal standing on clouds and Arcub sitting on a cloud. What is there not to love? Like, Honestly, this is a cool Tenarian that I made, you know? Like, maybe you should get into the game, hopefully. But yeah, at the end of the day, all of these Tenarians that I picked are absolutely amazing. And there's a lot more on the Discord as well that I couldn't fit into the video. 
but I really wish I could because I just want to give credit to all these amazing artists and I'm hoping that people will get more Tenarian submitted into the game. I would just like to say thank you for the developers of Tales of Tenario and actually listening to the community and taking some designs that people made and putting them into the game. I know in the future we're gonna get even more Tenarians into the game and I'm hoping that maybe one of you guys will actually make it into the game. That would be pretty cool honestly. That is it for this video and I'm hoping you enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.